Hello guys. Welcome to 9th session of Razor View Engine Tutorials. In this session we will see HTML helper methods for generating form controls. If we want to generate form in Razor there are two ways. First is use HTML tags directly. And another is use HTML helper. In this session we will see it. Let's switch to Visual Studio. For generating text box we will use text box method of HTML helper. In which we need to pass name for our text box. Let use username as a name. Let's view in browser. Here is a text box generated by HTML helper. Right click and select view source. You can see that name and ID of this text box is username that we are specified in parameter. An empty string is value. If you want to assign default value for text box then we need to use overloaded method of text box. And pass default value in second parameter. Reload page. Here is a value that we are pass in second parameter. If you want to pass extra attributes to control then pass it as object in third parameter. Write new style equals to background colon yellow. Save it and reload page. You can see that background for text box is changed to yellow. Some HTML attributes are reserved keyword in C-sharp. For example class, read only etc. For that we need to use at sign to use it. This is basically C-sharp concept but useful. Like text box there are various other methods available for generating other controls. Such as label, password, text area, hidden field. Let's start with label. Label method takes two parameters first specify expression for label. And second specify text to be display on label. Reload our page. Here is a label that we are created. Let use password method to generate password field. It takes only one parameter. Which is used for name and ID attribute for tag. Save and reload page. And next is text area method to generate text area. It has various methods. First is name or ID. Second is default value. Third is number of rows. Fourth is number of columns. And last for HTML attributes. In this example I am going to use null for HTML attribute. Reload our page. Hidden method is used to generate hidden field for HTML form. This field usually used to store ID which required to use in other actions. Save and reload our page. Let's see what we are learn in this session. 
Text box method is used to generate HTML input type text, which takes several parameters including name, default value, HTML attributes. Label method is used to generate HTML label, which also takes some parameters including expression, title, and HTML attributes. Password method is used to generate password field, which takes only name. Hidden method is used to generate hidden field, which takes name, default value, and HTML attributes. Text area method is used to generate HTML text area box, which takes name, default value, number of rows, and columns, and HTML attributes. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.